I'm standing by the poster in my office that was placed on the underground, the metro in, in London, for the last book I did with Peter de Gandhi, my dear friend. Jesus is back and this time he's funny. The Gospel of the Second Coming. It's where Pete and I really let ourselves out, kind of showed who, we're, who we really are, uh, as well as being you know, scholars who wrote the Jesus Mysteries and Jesus and the Lost Goddess, just explorers and people who like to laugh. Now I'm making this um, little video blog because I wanted those of you who know Peter, who may have come to events we've run together, and also those who've really appreciated his work over the last ooh, 10, 20 years, uh, to know that he's been seriously ill. Let me say straight up that he's, he's okay, um, but it has been touch and go. My son Bo and I were going kayaking, or planning to, with Peter um, a couple of weeks ago and we arranged to meet him and he's got a beach hut w which he was staying in which is right on on the coast in a place called portland bill which is quite a wild place on the south coast of england absolutely beautiful and we went down to find him and i knew immediately that something was wrong because peter is always up very early and out and about and the hut was closed up although his motorbike was outside and when I got in, he was lying down, and, and I knew it wasn't right, and said he thought he'd been hit on the head, and um, had been sick, and was had a terrible headache. Um, I realised that his speech was slurred, and that he probably hadn't been hit on the head, and there was something more serious than that, and he couldn't get up, so um, immediately rang an ambulance. One of the problems with Portland Bill is there's no um, signal for a phone. Luckily, there is some guest houses there. We got an ambulance, and um, very, very quickly, some amazing people arrived to take Peter to the local hospital, and then on to a specialist centre in Southampton. Uh, and as I had suspected, he had a bleed on the brain, uh, which is a life-threatening condition. And I know that, as does Peter, because it's exactly what happened a few years ago now to his girlfriend Francis uh, who is uh, Francis Turner who is a was a fine artist who also had a bleed on the brain completely unexpectedly and uh, died within a, a very short while so ironically Peter had exactly the same thing and, and uh, in that strange way that life has like like you're involved in some story some movie some narrative some dream not only was it the same as had happened to Fran and I've written about that in how long is now if you want to find out about that but he had that morning decided to start writing he's writing a book at the moment and he started he decided he was going to write about what had happened to Fran from Fran's point of view and by that evening he was experiencing what had happened to Fran from Fran's point of view now the good news is uh, the NHS in England were fantastic and my experiences they always are just angels wonderful kind wise skillful people um, he's had an operation he looked a bit like Frankenstein for a bit with big bolts in his head but they were all out uh, they clamped the bleed and within a few days, he was much, much better. Um, had the use of all his limbs back, um, was thinking clearly, and most precious of all, perhaps, uh, had it not by any means lost his sharp and keen humour, and was cracking up the staff and me and everyone who was with him, his mum and dad. And, and he's been making a solid recovery, and he's now out of hospital and resting up, uh, but obviously he's it's been a big event and he will take some time to recover but there's every reason to hope that he will make an absolute full recovery so that's the news I wanted to share with you and if anyone wants to pass on a message to Peter they can do it by sending it marked for Peter to me via email on my website 
and we've put especially um, because of this we've put a uh, show from my Hay House radio show in which I uh, talked with Peter on the website timfreak.com so if you want to hear Peter you can check him out there he is an amazing man I feel very very lucky to have known him for all of my life to have shared this crazy beautiful tragic journey that we're on with somebody who had the same sensibilities the same sense of how mysterious that that search for something deep for something meaningful that um, frustration with the trivial a desire to reach into the very essence of what this is and to be able to smile while you're doing it not take the whole thing too seriously because ultimately there's an absurdity to life which if you miss you don't you miss what life is that's how it feels to me and I know that's how it feels to Pete and as always what I see is this interpenetration of opposites you know like that beautiful symbol perhaps the most profound symbol human beings have ever come up with the yin yang the Tai Chi symbol where you have the black and the white the opposites and yet right at the center of the white is a dot of black and right at the center of the black is a dot of white and that's my experience that all of this play of forms is being generated by a, the play of opposites and right at the heart of one is the other and in the middle of all of this tragedy and uh, fear and pain there has been the opposite love connection meaning people have come together I've spent amazing times with other friends of Peter who I haven't seen for years brought together by his illness uh, with his mum and dad who I also don't see very much I've been connected through to a to the raw physicality of life in a way which I rarely am and I've also been very very conscious of how important Peter is to me as a human being and how very sad I would be to end this conversation that he and I have been having for 40 years <laughs> and I'm glad to say it looks like it's going to go on for a bit longer and even more we're planning to buy a house next door to the house I live in with my family in Glastonbury and he's moving in so we're going to live next door to each other so I don't know what trouble we're going to get into when that happens but uh, watch this space <laughs>